This is a 11.30 release one update, being that I haven't done one for a little while due to some technical issues. We're here at one of the very new uh, airports at Wollongong in uh, New South Wales, which is south of Sydney. Give you some bearings on where that is. So this is one of the new 3D airports that's been released. We certainly have had a lot of new airports released since we got started um, from 11.25. We have uh, something like 937 new airports. We have uh, some new toys with our joysticks. We're able to actually massage the curves a little bit now. Uh, so you get your profiles and everything here. But we'll come back to the actual um, curves in a sec. Well, we just get everything ready here, just making sure all my buttons and switches are working. Let's go and have a look now. The response curve this is going to adjust how much you get now how you can really fine-tune it here if you really want to so that you have a little bit less reaction towards the center if you have something that's a little bit more sensitive and then make that curve grow towards the end so um, lots of things you can do with that um, you'll be able to do that and maybe on your trims you certainly uh, aileron roll and pitch uh, maybe even your throttle so it really depends on yourself Let's get a little bit of a move on and we'll get out onto the runway and we'll have a little fly around. And probably the best thing that I wanted to have a check out was the um, particle system with this because we had it with uh, release one, as you remember, I was doing those uh, aerobatics in the, in the Cessna and uh, we were getting lots of nice trails. And so let's get our um, Lank Air out on the runway. Really like this aircraft. I like it for a number of reasons. It is free as well, but it's just a really great aeroplane to fly. Damn quick. So let's get ourselves off and we'll go and do a little bit of zipping around. And then we'll come back and do a landing. And in the process, we'll just cover off on a whole lot of the things that have happened uh, getting to 11.30 release one. So through all the meters and everything that's gone on. Obviously, there's been some some performance improvements. I haven't seen a massive amount. I expected it more, but um, it wasn't to be. But I think everybody gets different mileage, and I'm, I think we're all aware of that. So it just depends on your system. So let's. Uh, we're all clear. So let's get out and uh, get this baby in the air. I did have a fly around in the Phantom. Uh, I was going to do uh, a flight from Newcastle up down here to Wollongong. Um, but the airport didn't seem to be installed properly, so I thought I'd leave that go, and then I had a look at this one, which I noticed. And uh, this one looks really good, so. But with the Phantom, I noticed uh, one with a particle system. If you pull in high Gs, you actually get the low pressure air above the wings and it turns into a mist, which was pretty good. I was going to stick that in, but with the technical issues I've got at the moment with, uh, with my PC, um, I thought I'll just try and keep it as simple as possible and, and get this out and just show you what we've got so far. A nice smooth takeoff. I haven't actually flown in a couple of weeks because the PC has been away, but uh, sadly it hasn't got fixed, so looks like I'm going to have to hang around and wait for a Ryzen system when I get back to Australia in February. So be patient with me if there's uh, not too many videos coming out at Let's Fly VFR. We do have a hundred of them for you to watch, so feel free to go and watch some of the oldies. Uh, I'd love to have you come back and uh, let me know what you think about those. So the scenery here is pretty good. Uh, it, it is a quite a hilly area. This is part of, I would say, it would be part of the Blue Mountains. You could follow these north and they would uh, take you right up past uh, Sydney scenery here is pretty good. This is all default as well. I haven't got any uh, ortho or anything done. You can see the cars on the, uh, on the right side of the road at least as well, down in Froz. There's cars on the left. So if you're in the States, we're, uh, we're opposite to you, and if you're in the UK, then we are the same. So the water and, and everything looks pretty good down there too. Normally that's pretty dull grey, sort of affected water. But uh, it's got the edge to it, which is nice. That's something that uh, we haven't really seen, or I haven't really seen in previous ones, previous versions of this. 
So now that's probably part of the new shader system that we've got, and yes, uh, live long and prosper. We're getting close to Vulcan as well. It's, uh, it's certainly on the way. We still might have to wait a few months for it before we get there, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be worth the wait. So let's give this uh, particle system a bit of a run for its money, and uh, we'll just get a, a little bit of height, and uh, we'll head down. Now, the other thing we've now got is 4K resolutions. Um, it won't be in this particular aircraft, but in the uh, the newest ones, there's, they're now capable of having 4K textures. So. That's uh, going to make things even better and better. You can just see the wings, off the tip of the wings there, uh, are trailing. When you get a bit of speed and pull out again, you hopefully you'll get to see a little bit more. But if you didn't quite catch it, it's nice and thin and it looks, I'd say it looks fairly realistic, just coming off the wingtips. Let's give this another bit of a bash so you can see it a bit clearer. So we get a bit of speed up head down and uh, I'm pretty surprised I haven't broken this thing yet because I've been pulling on it pretty hard on the, the stick of joy beautiful trails look at that and even with the aileron roll in there um, it stayed until we slowed down a bit get inverted and pull it back down again this link here is a lot of fun to fly But the only thing that I don't like on, on this really is the, um, the glass reflections it does for you. I'm pretty sure you can turn them off, but I haven't done it uh, for the video, but I think I might do that for, uh, for future flights. Getting nice trails. That one's even coming off the tail by the look of it there. You want to get the two wingtip ones. I was hoping to see some uh, above the wings, but maybe we just didn't pull enough G's to make uh, make that happen. We're not fast enough in the Linky, but it's certainly prevalent in the uh, in the fighter. So if you're in a uh, you know any sort of jet fighter and you start hooping around the sky, if you're able to look back over your shoulder onto the wings as you do that, you should see like a mist above the wings. And if you've been fortunate enough to go flying, you would have seen all of those on uh, on the on airliners. You know when you're landing and you're taking off. If it's been a little bit moist, you see it a little bit more. Just try to get it a little bit more. Test above the wings, that's why I'm just looking at the wing there, but there wasn't anything happening there. But it's got better, it seems a little broader and um, more like a mist. In the early one we did back in the Cessna, it was just little thin streams. So I need to do it in the Cessna and just see whether it's the same on the Cessna as well. The scenery is pretty good, it's pretty good, and uh, from the SimCon back at, uh, well a couple of months back now at Cosford, they were saying that the textures and the uh, objects uh, have very little reaction on your FPS these days, so um, you can have your FPS at a reasonable level and uh, have plenty of objects as well, so scenery textures are looking really nice there. Head back and we'll do a landing back at Wollongong Airport. Doesn't it look nice as it flies by? Trying for a few more G's, but no trails anyway that time. So we'll enter a left downwind for this trip and we'll do, a, hopefully, we'll get a half reasonable landing. It'll be going to be pretty rusty, I'm sure. All of this landing stuff being on speed, say a week or more since I've actually had a flight. This is about the second flight after a quick jaunt in the Phantom to see what that was like. I might put that up as just a short video for you to have a look at because it really is a great effect um, on top of the wings, so it's been worth a look. So I might pop that up as just another short one later on. I've got it there, just a matter of getting it together and sticking it uh, in the editor. For you. So while we're just on the downwind leg, just want to remind you again that we do have now the uh, Let's Fly VFR.com. Now, this is intended to be uh, a couple of things. One, it's intended to be a resource for us all. So, now if you have any articles you would like to put there, if you have a YouTube channel of your own, 
I have got a page dedicated to all the other YouTube people out there. You're welcome to, to send me a message and let me know and I will include you, providing you're someone who produces regular videos. At the moment we've got Crash Lobby, um, uh, Ozflight Simmer and um, Growling Sidewinder are three channels there that are linked on that channel and this is there for you if you want it. Now, all I ask is maybe you'll link back to the, um, the website for me. It's part of that SEO thing where you uh, get to point backwards and forwards and uh, and then Google is able to find out where you are. Just had a pause there for a minute. Can't remember what I was checking out there. I needed to check something. Let's just get a little bit further down and hopefully we make this a nice gentle leaning over the trees. I always find that it's a little bit, I get myself a little bit nervous coming in over trees. Trying to land at uh, at Truro Flats in South Australia in the Jabiru. Uh, coming in over the trees on a couple of the runways, I always find that really daunting. I'm just worried about getting too close and touching them on the way through. There's plenty of space there, but it's just psychological. The other thing, yeah, the side force modelling, that is something I found really good. And as well, um, the, the taxing, that's got a lot better. It's not as sensitive anymore. And uh, it feels a lot solider on the pedals when you're, when you're taxiing and when you're uh, taking off and landing. You're not getting the thing squealing like it used to. So the guys are doing a really great job at laminar on that one. Because everyone's complained about that for such a long time. Let's get ourselves all lined up. And uh, see if we can't get it down on the numbers. Overhead, duck your head. I sort of don't think you're going to find too many huge airliners at Wollongong Airport, though. <laughs> That's probably a little bit unrealistic, but uh, yeah, you never know. This thing doesn't like to break. The link here, it uh, if you hit the the brake button, the B button, but if you're braking on the pedals, it's like it wants to just keep going. It doesn't want to stop. Let's get down here and then uh, taxi it in. Hopefully the sound works out okay, uh, guys. Um, hopefully nothing is particularly loud. in and get ourselves back up to the airport to the hangars and just back on the uh, the, the letsflyvfr.com there's also going to be a lot of equipment um, toys if you like the your sim toys available there I'm going at the moment I do have joysticks potas systems pedals instrument panels and there'll be a lot more stuff turning up there over time as well and I'm looking to uh, find a couple of other places where I can um, put stuff on the website from. At the moment, it's just Amazon. This is uh, a little way of just earning a few dollars for the web for the website or for the YouTube channel, so that I can continue to make hopefully better videos than we've been doing. I always like to see an improvement in quality and, and what we're doing in content. So it uh, it is something that's going to help out. So if you're uh, going to buy something and uh, you'd like to help the channel out, I'd really appreciate if you have a look at least at the links and see whether the prices are reasonable. Hopefully we'll have some more um, alternate links as well so you can compare and make sure you're going to get the best price there. And uh, that'll help the channel out with a little bit, of, um, a little bit of money coming back our way that way. But it doesn't cost you guys any extra. There's a lot of people out there exactly this. and. Uh, I think it's better than asking you guys to um, join some sort of Patreon or something like that. I'd rather you get something you want than just me asking for some money uh, to help me keep running the channel and improving things. So um, if you uh, are so inclined, that's fine. If you are not inclined to do so, then that's perfectly fine as well. Get ourselves back. This would look magnificent in VR, I'm sure taxing past all these big aeroplanes. 
and we're heading back to one of the starting points which is the helipad here at Wollongong if you, uh, you start up you tend to uh, this tends to be your initial point getting going and some of the other things that's nice here too is that trees are fairly realistic the tree tends to have what we call gum uh, ghost gums or gum trees and often they are quite white and these trees look pretty representative it's really well done uh, map as well yeah the maps been updated so there's now uh, a lot more information you do have to zoom in a little bit more than maybe you would expect but it's uh, it's apparently all there and we're getting as I say all these new airports have been uh, created so there's been some just updates to them and some of uh, a fully new airport so whether this one has had a lot of work done to it or not um, I haven't checked it prior to the update I did the update and then I chose to come and have a look at this airport but it's uh, it's in pretty good nick so yeah we might have to check out a few more airports as well and see what's going on there so hope you enjoyed that little wrap up of what's happened in 11.30 as we hit release one uh, feel free to visit the website thanks for your time and uh, hope you guys all have a really huge day and uh, have a great Christmas New Year being it's coming up to Christmas in 2018 so have a great time and we'll catch you again. Bye-bye.